our next guests are wrestling royalty, they female superstars of <laughs> WWE who earn a living in the ring. We have Stephanie McMahon, who was born into the multi-billion dollar industry. Uh, and then Paige alongside her, who took up wrestling when she was 13 years old, born into a family of wrestlers, of course, uh, all the way in Norfolk. Uh, she is such a sensation that the Dwayne The Rock Johnson even turned her life into a movie. <laughs> which I have enjoyed with my children. Fighting with my family, it is. Yeah. Both my boys loved it, absolutely loved it. Love to see both. Thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Big, big news for the WWE, because mm -hmm. uh, you've moved home. Yes. Stephanie. We have. For the first time in 30 years, we are with a new partner in the UK, BT Sport, mm. and they have embraced us in such a huge way. We are so proud to be their partner. It's um, fantastic to see you both strong women representing wrestling. Women in wrestling page have, mm -hmm. have really made the headlines, haven't they? I mean, you're absolutely boosting their role. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, it's been like that for a while, and obviously having uh, a boss lady like Stephanie McMahon yes. here, obviously, who's, who uh, is so supportive of the women and obviously wants us all to succeed, too. Yeah. Do the women get criticised for doing oh, yeah. something that is <laughs> oh, seen as manly? Oh, of course, yeah. We, we, we've been in a male-dominated industry for years, but you know what? The women have just grown so much, and I feel like when the women do uh, go out there and do their thing, that they outshine uh, the guys most the time. A lot of the time. Yeah. It's, a, it's an extraordinary journey though, isn't it? Because I can remember 30 years ago when I was young watching the sort of the, the sort of WWF as it was back mm -hmm. then when it certainly first hit and all my sort of D heroes. Due to a particular lawsuit we, yeah. we yeah, don't know WWE. The yeah, yes. <laughs> but so, you know, when the Hulk Hogan was doing it and the Ultimate Warrior, you know, all those guys watching that and then all these years later, it's still yeah. so popular, Stephanie. Oh, yes. And, and, and the women are such a fundamental part of it. They are. And actually, for the first time in 35 years, WrestleMania, which is akin to our Super Bowl or our, our mm. big playoffs, um, our women were the main event. Mm -hmm. But a And we had our first ever women's match in Saudi Arabia. It, yeah. Wow. It is rough. That's, yeah. you know, I mean, we, we think of it as entertainment. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there are all sorts of amazing moves in it. But sometimes you can get hurt. And the point is for you, Paige, that that yeah. led to your retirement, it didn't did, it? It did, unfortunately. Because you had horrible yeah. neck injury. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just push yourself too hard because you, you do, you want to entertain the masses. But, yes. but you know, and, and you're very loyal to your fans that, like, you don't relax either. So I just had the neck surgery. I came back and I, like, pushed myself too far. Even WWE was like, you need to slow down. But I was like, no, I want to keep going. And unfortunately, yeah, it led to me having to retire. But you know, so what happened? What was the move that led you to have that neck injury? Neck surgery. It's, it's just a lot of wear and tear. I've been doing wrestling since right. I was 13 years old, mm. obviously, and so my body didn't have time to fully develop properly because I was constantly bumping around. Right. You know, so it, it was. It wasn't just one move. It was like a multiple. There are rumors, though, Paige. That there is maybe the retirement. <laughs> she is likes due to stoke the yeah, fire. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> due, due to end. She's a marketing is gonna be a big genius. Year. You know, all of our talent. Not only are they incredible athletes and performers, but they're also businessmen and women and they sure. understand building their own brand. Because, so. of course, as a career, it can be cut short very quickly. Absolutely. With right. Like any professional athlete. Yeah. Do you, is there a sense that uh, if it does, you could come out of retirement in some capacity? We might see you back in the ring? Oh, well, not, not, for, not for a hot minute. But, you know, never say never, of course. Yeah. Like, you're, you're always, uh, yeah, you don't want to put any doubt in anything. But, yeah, hopefully one day. But when you've been so involved in something yeah. for so many years, it's your community, it's your friends, it's your yeah. status, it's your life. Yeah. How do you deal with not being able to do that and go back into the ring. Well, the wonderful thing too about being part of WWE is even though I'm not in ring in a physical capacity, they give me the opportunity to do other stuff. So I get to be general manager of SmackDown or I get to manage uh, the Kabuki Warriors or, you know, now I'm doing, a, I'm an analysis on WWE backstage on Fox. So uh, they can be- to Total and Divas. Total Divas. Reality yeah, programming. Yeah, yeah, we have everything. And we do media like this too, which is super fun. And Stephanie, you must feel that you need to look after your wrestlers. Of course. Because, of course, things can happen and you can't just discard them. Absolutely. And, and I'm also chief brand officer of WWE, yeah. not, not just an in ring performer as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, there, is got... there, sorry, is there, I'm just wondering, because it's grown so much, and in terms of, as, as you've been saying, you want each move to be bigger and, yeah. and more dramatic, and we see, more entertaining. we see the wrestlers climbing to the top of massive cages and jumping off the ceilings. Is there a move? My like brother. A, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, I'm just watching it thinking, how on earth can they? manage that sort of 
that sort of physicality. Is there a move, a sort of a fabled move that no one's been able to complete yet, like a double backflip that someone like the work... triple Lindy? Yeah, um, <laughs> and not, I'm sure that there is amongst you know yeah. our performers. I certainly wouldn't know about it. No. Yeah, I mean, um, there's a, there's, a, there's multiple moves that a lot of people can't. Conquer, yeah, yeah, exactly. So there isn't just one move, you know, some people can't do certain moves. It, I mean, would a trained gymnast who was, you know, about Olympic. to compete yes, for the yes. Olympics? I, I would love to bring Max back on, actually. Yes. <laughs> so, well, look, I think so Max, Max Whitlock is in our green room. No, he's there. He's in the studio. Been. Come on in, Max. Oh, he's, he's, this is he's eager. Right now. He's eager. Yeah. Yeah. So this, is, this is how, how the you? WWE recruits so its nice latest stars. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Max, are you a fan? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I've watched it, watched it a few times. Yeah. But when I heard about me, being potentially, like, yes, it would be pretty cool. I'd yeah. Be so Stephanie, what have you spotted in Max uh, that you think would make him a, a, a star? Of WWE? <laughs> well, I think his uh, his incredible, you know, athleticism yeah. first and foremost. You know, you have to be a, the complete package to be successful in WWE. The charisma, the personality, yes. yeah. um, but the athleticism. You know, the the level of what we do in the ring has truly evolved, and gymnastics is really the best overall sport yes. that you know, translates to the room. Unquestionably, uh, I'd imagine, the Paige, as well. When we've, I mean, we've had Max come in and do all sorts of crazy things for us. Wow. But to do that wow, in the ring... Yes. To do See? this, to do this do in the ring... Can uh, you do that on the ropes, though? Well, that would be oh. awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> he, can, he can backflip, he can flare. Yeah, uh, here's, here's the backflip. I, I don't know how you do this in the studio, Max, when you haven't got a soft mat <laughs> under, uh, underneath. Yeah, yeah. Um, that would of, be quite good, wouldn't it? One of the Olympic most, athletes Oh, here we go, this is what you asked for This is what I... This is what... Wow. Oh. Just, just bang that out oh for goodness. us first thing in the morning. <laughs> no big yes, deal. Of course. Do you, do you, wake up? Do you and, and the other gymnasts, I know that you all have to look after your bodies very carefully. Do yeah. you ever sort of mock up wrestling matches? Do you ever try and... <laughs> oh. you, have you ever jumped you off now. a pommel horse onto one of your trainers and tried to body slam? <laughs> I haven't, but... It could be someone in the pipeline. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we can document his training at our performance centre and yes. everything else, you know. And Stephanie, of course, the, the wrestlers have characters, don't yes. they? Because there's a narrative around them. They have a story. Mad they have Max a name. Whitlock. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Or the gymnast. Yes. What would, what would you... How would you describe what, what him? What would my name I'm be? Sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. You'd have to help me come up with that on your own. I you think know? it's going to take Our talent love to, to be a part of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, you're always going to get the best product of someone. Wild Man involved. Whitlock, Mad Max. <laughs> Whitlock. It's all there. Oh, uh, Mad Max. The Royal Rumble yeah, is coming up. Taken. When yeah. is the Royal Rumble going to happen? Is there room for a gymnast, a new gymnast, a debutante? Well, we'll have to see. We can't give anything away in okay. WWE. It's always yes. excited for the Royal Rumble, but too. But you can watch it on BT Sport. And that's on the 26th mm. of January. Fantastic yes. stuff.